Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of Digital Electronics. Today we'll discuss binary to gray code converter. Uh, it's going to be a logic device that has four inputs and four outputs. By the way, we are making a binary to gray code converter for four bits. So it is going to perform the task of converting binary input into its equivalent gray code. Now please understand gray code uh, is a special code that differs from the preceding number by a single bit. Uh, for instance if you check out these gray codes as we move from 0 to 15 the first gray code is differing from the second gray code in only one bit um, as you can see this bit has changed only as we go from 0 to 1 and when we go from 1 to 2 uh, this bit is changing from 0 to 1 this remains same this remains same and this remains the same also and similarly when we go from 2 to 3 this one is changing Every, all the other three bits are remaining as they were and you can check any preceding number for example 1111 the next number is 1110 so there's just one change so it's a special code and if you if you want to convert a binary number into its equivalent gray code then I've made a special a uh, short tutorial of uh, binary to gray code conversion you can check that out it's a pretty easy thing to do that by the way and but I have made a table of binary numbers with the gray codes so you could pause the video and make this table as it is because now we are going to find out the values of the outputs w x y z which will represent gray code in terms of its input which will be a binary number so while <coughs> we do that uh, the first step is of course populating the truth table the second step is making the k maps for each of these outputs now we have a task of um, finding w in terms of inputs a b c d so let's fill in uh, we know that w is 1 from uh, 8 to 15 so what i'll do is i've marked here all the boxes as the equivalent decimal uh, numbers for binary so this box represents 0000, zero, zero, zero and the uh, output w is 0 here and this box represents 1 and w is also 0 there so in the same uh, order I can safely put that w is 1 for 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so i'll put a 1 on 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so when i reduce w uh, as an expression so it'll make an octet here this octet has only a in common similarly for x we know that x is 1 for 4 5 6 7 so this is 4 5 6 and 7 and then x is also 1 for 8 9 10 11 so 8 9 10 and 11 and it is 0 for the rest of the inputs 
and I'll make two quads here and if I reduce these two quads I'll get A bar B plus A B bar <clears throat> so this is the reduction and for Y I get um, an output 1 on 2 3 4 5 so let me put 2 3 4 5 and then I get 10 11 12 13 so I get 10 11 12 and 13 so again I'll make quads two quads one is this one and the other one is this and the reduced expression will be I'll mark it so in this quad we have B common and C bar common and in, the, in this quad we have B bar and C. And finally, we are left with Z. So it is 1 on 1, 2. Okay, 1 and 2. Then it is 1 on 5 and 6. 5 and 6. Then 9, 10. 9, 10. Then finally 13 and 14. 13 and 14 so again I have two quads and they'll have a value um, C D C bar D plus C D bar now if you closely look this is A X or B this is C XOR D and this is B XOR C so if we were to make the um, logic circuit for this we'll specify A, B, C and D here as inputs and we know that W is obtained directly from A then X is obtained from A X or B Y is obtained from B X or C and Z is obtained from C X or D so this becomes our logic diagram the gate implementation of binary to gray code converter once you know the process of converting a binary number to gray code you can simply fill up the uh, truth table it could be a 3-bit binary to gray code converter or a 4-bit binary to gray code converter once you have the truth table ready you need to put the values in the k maps to find the output in terms of input and that is all I wanted to discuss in this topic. I hope uh, it was of help. And if you liked the content of this video and other videos in the series, give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.